In this video we are going to take a look at this Minolta XG7 35mm film SLR originally introduced 1977. Um, if I turn it on here and we uh, check it out here with the uh, dial in the automatic setting we can see the shutters operating the aperture is stopping down and if we change the light conditions here we can tell that it's changing its settings and if we turn off of the automatic setting here we can step down through the shutter speeds here's at 1 1000 500 two fiftieth, one twenty fifth, sixtieth, thirtieth, fifteenth, one eighth, one fourth, one half, full second, and the bulb setting where the shutter stays open, lens stays stopped down as long as I hold the button. So that's working. Set it back on auto Turn the self timer on and verify that that's working. Here we can see the light blinking and it will soon start blinking faster indicating it's closer to the time. Here it goes. So the self timer is working. We've got the battery check. We can see there the light comes on to indicate the battery is good. We look here at the top. Everything looks pretty nice in the back, the bottom of the camera. Um, actually quite nice, only a few little scratches here near the tripod socket, probably from trying to find that while setting on a tripod, but not not nearly as much as is usually seen. So quite nice. Now let's unmount the lens here. This is exactly the same lens that I learned photography with uh, back in 1979, the 50mm MD Rocker X f1.7. Nice uh, clicks on aperture ring, nice smooth focus, typical of these Minolta lenses, all is very nice. And if we have it stopped way down, we can check the aperture diaphragm nice and quick blades. So very nice. Mount the lens back onto the body and let's look inside. We'll pull up on the rewind crank. Crank is in nice condition by the way. Open the door. Let's operate the, the uh, camera just a little bit to turn it back on. You can see the Shutter curtains working properly. The film advance is working nicely. Move over here to the pressure plate. That's quite nice. That's good. Um, checking the. There's some what looks to be some kind of old foam here, and the, there's a little bit of residue along the edges. I don't know how urgent it is that that would be dealt with, but at some point the uh, light seals here should be replaced. Probably sooner than later if you're planning to use this camera. A um, little bit of light seal residue printed off of this surface onto that surface. Um, the other thing to notice is the leatherette is shrinking a little bit. As you can see, very common. Every one of these that I've seen that has this type of leatherette covering has done this. So uh, it's just typical of what you'll see when you find one of these. I don't have a lens cap for it, but I do have this screw in a 55 millimeter filter. And this will prove that the filter threads are good on the lens. Let me get that aligned. And screw it in place and it does come with the XG7 manual and the manual has a little bit of wear and tear as we can see here but all of the information looks good inside a little bit of tearing and a little corner missing here from the back it looks like 
but all very serviceable, 1977. So, nice example of the uh, XG7, 35mm Minolta SLR.